I'd like to introduce you to two very special guests in my kitchen today. This is Jesse Rivera and this is Joey. And we are very excited to have them as part of Character Kitchen. So guys, are you excited? Yes. It's time to suit up. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God. Just play of righteousness. So let's get right to the chest plate of righteousness. Yes, some people call it the chest plate of righteousness. Other people call it the breastplate of righteousness. But where is it? It covers your heart. 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 It's the part that covers your heart. Do you think it protects our hearts? Yes. Do you think it does? I've got a heart right over here. And I'd love for us to stick this onto our chest plate or our breastplate. Behind me, can you see it there, Jess? Will you go and put it up for us? Well done, that's it. Well done. Good boy. Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. Can we give Jesse a clap? Yeah, he even knows which side the heart is. That's amazing. Okay, we're going to discover a little bit more about why it's so important to protect our hearts. So let's first open in prayer. Let's do that. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this new day. Thank you for this new day. Thank you that you fill us. Thank, thank you that, that you fill us. With your Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit. So that our hearts can be protected. So that our hearts can be protected. You place the helmet of salvation on our heads. You place the helmet of salvation on our heads. And you give us the breastplate of righteousness. And you give us the breastplate of righteousness. So that nothing can harm us. So that nothing can harm us. And no hurtful words can go into our hearts. And no hurtful words can go into our hearts. Keep our hearts clean, Lord. Keep our hearts clean, Lord. So that we can stay in you. So that, so that we, we can, can stay in you. And your righteousness can stay in us. And your righteousness, your righteousness can, stay can stay in us. Amen. Amen. Great, guys. So now that we've got our armor on, do you know that song, Heads and Shoulders, Knees and Toes? Yes. Do you know it? Do you remember it from Holiday Battle Club? Yes. From the head all the way to the toes. Do you remember how we had to remember every single piece of our armor every morning? Yes. Do you remember that? Oh, we got the little magnets. And you got the magnets to put on your fridge afterwards. Yes. That's amazing. Should we remember our Bible verse together, boys and girls? Can you remember it? Ephesians 6. Verse 11 says, what does it say? Put on the full armor of God so we can stand against the devil and his tricks. now to Brittany and Ed as they jump into the Bible and discover more for us about what righteousness is all about. So Brittany, mm -hmm. in a suit of armor, what does the breastplate protect? Oh, does it protect your heart? Yes, because when you're in a battle, you're going to want a breastplate to protect your heart and other important organs. Because when you're fighting an enemy, oh, you're going to want to want a breastplate. Oh, that makes sense. And oh, I just thought of something. Mm -hmm. So the breastplate protects your heart. Mm -hmm. And it's called the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. So righteousness must protect our hearts. Yes. See, the righteousness is so important for our hearts. Well, we're going to explore more of that when we jump into the Bible. Here we go. Wait for me. So, to explore righteousness, 
let's look at some guys in the Bible who looked really, really righteous. Now, they were religious leaders, and everyone looked at them as an example of the right way to live. Let's see how righteous they really were. In the book of Matthew, chapter 23. Thousands of years ago, a group of religious leaders called Pharisees tried to act righteous. They wore Bible verses in boxes on their arms, kind of like a bracelet. That seemed like a good thing to do. They went to other countries to tell people about God. That seemed good. They gave money to important causes, too. Their lives looked super good, and they looked really righteous on the outside. But let's see if Jesus thought they were the most righteous guys around. Jesus said, everything you do is done for people to see. Woe to you Pharisees, you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are full of greed and selfishness. First, clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside also will be clean. Matthew chapter 23, verse 5, 25, and 26. Wow. Jesus did not sound too impressed with the Pharisees' righteousness. Jesus called the Pharisees hypocrites. A hypocrite is a pretender. He used the example of a cup when talking about them. Just like Brittany's cup, the Pharisees looked perfect and clean on the outside, but they were dirty and rotten on the inside. Jesus knew their hearts and knew that everything they did was for selfish reasons to make them look good. Wow. But righteousness is about doing the right thing for the right reasons. And we can only be righteous with Jesus. When we wear the breastplate of righteousness, it's not about doing good things to impress other people. It's about our hearts being right in God's eyes, and when our hearts are clean, our actions will be too. To have a right heart, we need to ask God to forgive our sins and to give us His righteousness. Righteousness means we are right with God inside and out. Okay, so I get it. We can ask God to forgive us of our sins and he'll give us a clean heart. Just like I clean the inside of my cup, God can help us to be clean on the inside and out. Yes. That's righteousness. But what does that look like, Ed? Oh, good question. It's kind of like if you had a toy mm -hmm. and you know a sibling or a friend wants to play with that toy. Now, righteousness means instead of just letting them play with it because an adult told you that you had to, it's to actually know it's the right thing to do to let them play with it oh. and let them do that. So it's kind of like when you have to say sorry, mm -hmm. not saying sorry because your mom tells you to, but saying sorry because you know it's the right thing to do. Yes, that's what righteousness is all about. Righteousness means we are right with God inside and out. Wow, thanks Eden Britt. You explained that so well to us that it actually reminded me to take out my dirty mug. I wonder how many of our hearts look like this on the inside. I hope we are I hope we have righteous hearts, Joey. What do you reckon? Do you yes. think if you're honest with yourself, do you think your heart looks more like this? Clean and soft because you listen to Jesus and you allow him to fill your heart with good good thoughts and good things and good behaviors or if we honest with ourselves do we do we try and look good on the outside but actually on the inside well we don't always make good choices and we don't always show good fruit like love and joy and peace and patience hey and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control i know sometimes i get impatient and i lose my patience but you know what? You know what the good news is? Who do you think? Do you think we've got to try and be good all the time? Do you yes. think that's what righteousness is? You've got to be good all the time? Yes. Do you think so? Yes. Do you think so, guys? But who was the one person? Are you good all the time, Joey? Mm. Are you good all the time? Or just sometimes? Mm. 99% of the time. 99% of the time. So 1% you're not very good. And how about you? If we're honest with ourselves, are you like me? Do you sometimes get impatient, Jess? Yes. Or do you 
Are you always just perfectly um, perfect? No, Joe, no one's ever perfect. You're quite right, Jess. No one is ever perfect. Who was the only perfect person that lived? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus was the only perfect one. And did his cup look like this on the inside? No. No. What did his cup look like? Clean. Okay. Absolutely clean. Clean on the outside and clean on the inside. inside. He was the only perfect one who could die for us. And so, the good news is that that breastplate of righteousness that God has given us is a free gift. Are we going to earn it? No, Joe, we can't earn God's love. There's nothing more we can do for God to love us more. Is that right? Do you think God will love you more if you get to behave? Yes. Mm -mm. No, he loves you if you misbehaved as well. His love never changes. Did you know that? His love doesn't ever change. Even when you're naughty, his love for you never changes. changes. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Hey, that's how good God is. God gave us the perfect gift of a breastplate of righteousness. So if somebody comes up to you on the playground and they try and bully you with the breastplate and they say, hey, you deaf man. Hey, what did that boy say to you last week? What did you say he said? I'm an idiot. You're, I'm an idiot. Is that going to go into your heart? Is it going to no. stab you? No. no what's going to happen? I'm going to be protected by the chestplate of righteousness. You are. You're going to be protected by the breastplate of righteousness. Isn't that amazing? Hey, it's yes. going to come right off. Just like the shield. It's going to come right off. Okay. And that's because you are loved and because God loves you. And that's because you loved and because God loves you because we know because we know that we are children of god children of god and that will never ever change it's this free free gift let's stand up where you are boys and girls and let's remember our memory verse just one more time are you ready ephesians 6 from verse 11 says put on the full armor of god so that you can stand against the devil and his tricks. The armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. Put on the belt of truth. My good news boots. Getting dressed and ready to go. The shield of faith. Soul I raise, God's word is what I know. With all my might, I'll do what's right with the armor of godliness. My helmet's on, my salvation. Now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy. Good news boots, getting dressed and ready to go. The shield of faith, the sword I raise, God's word is what I know. With all my might, I'll do what's right with the armor of godliness. My helmet's on, my salvation, now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can't stand against the enemy. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. The armor of God fits good on me. Good on me. Good on me. The armor of God fits good on me. Good on me. Good on me. So Joe, let's go to see Martha and what he's up to today. Absolutely. I hope he remembers to put on his breastplate of righteousness. Or as Jojo calls it, what do you call it, Joey? Chestplate of righteousness. Yes, the breastplate, the chestplate, whatever it helps you to remember, it covers your heart. The chestplate of righteousness. It's recent.
Jesus. That means kids are outside playing, Armin and Lydia are waiting for Micah to study, and Chuck the school bully is up to no good again. <laughs> yes! Now everyone will know that I, Chet, was here. Hang on, then people will know that I wrote this. I got an idea. Hey, you! Who, me? Yeah, you! You see this? Yeah, you spelled was wrong. Shut your yeah, punk! Listen, I don't want to get caught for spray painting this wall. So we're going to make it look like you did it. How are we going to do that? You're going to spray paint this wall, and it's going to say, Micah wrote this. Well, why couldn't you just do it? Because I want it in your writing. Duh. But I don't want to do that. Spray paint this wall. Now. Hey. Or your textbook gets it. I need it to study for the quiz or test. I, I can't remember, but I'll fail without that. With his textbook held hostage, will Micah spray paint the wall or say no to what is wrong and risk failing his test? Find out when we return after these messages. Hey, friend. Do you sometimes find it hard to do what God says? When you're not protecting your heart, you leave it open to bad influence. And that can lead to unrighteousness. Don't let the wrong influence affect you again with the chest plate of righteousness. When you wear the chest plate of righteousness, you protect your heart from the wrong influences, freeing your heart up to be influenced by the Holy Spirit so you can make the righteous choice. Righteous, dude! Sign this wall now! My textbook! Micah has a choice between his textbook and vandalizing the school wall. What will he do? It's time to suit up. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God. Chest plate of righteousness. You can't force me to vandalize the school wall. It's wrong and I won't do it no matter what you say. It's more important to do what's right in God's sight. Then say goodbye to your mediocre grades. Hey, who wrote this? Did you write this? I, uh... You're in trouble, mister. Proverbs 4.23 says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Yes, that's all righteousness is about. It's not trying to be good, it's knowing you're good. Knowing we are good already. Yes, I'm sure we can end it now. Awesome, guys. We're going to pray. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that today is a special day because we can ask you to come and live in our hearts, Lord. Today, we choose to make room for you, Lord. We choose, Jesus, to welcome you into our hearts and to come and to protect us, Lord, from this world. Thank you that you say, Lord, that there will be many, many, many things that will happen in our lives. But if we follow you, Jesus, and if we allow ourselves to spend time with you, that we will never, ever, ever be alone. Thank you, Jesus, that you protect our hearts and that you cover us with your promises, that we are your children, that we are loved by you, and that you have chosen us to be part of your family. And all God's children said, Amen. 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 Boys and girls, thank you for joining us today in Character Kitchen. We're going to end our time with you with a little bit of worship. So do stand up where you are. Let's put on the armor together and let's remember what we're putting on. Next week, we're going to discover what the belt of truth is all about. So don't forget to join us next Sunday. God bless and goodbye. goodbye. Got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Things first, you got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. 
The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God now in faith we can stand, stand, stand Against every evil plan, plan, plan Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong He has won I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God